So one of the first things that you wanna do before you start an oil change is know what type of oil and how much of that oil your vehicle takes. Go into your owner's manual. Usually it's inside your glove box. Mine so happens to be right inside my glove box. I'm actually gonna put a PDF up on the screen so you guys can have a clear view of what type of oil and the amount of oil that you will need. All right, so if you swipe your owner's manual to section 12-5, you will find their specifications for alternative engine oil. It says right here, if the Subaru approved oil is unavailable, which it is for us, the following alternative oil can be used. It does have to be API service, CN, SAE, uh, certified for gasoline engines, obviously, and... Um, zero w20 synthetic is oil is required for optimum engine performance and protection conventional oil may be used in synthetic oil is unavailable which we are not using conventional and it says right here changing the oil and oil filter and these are the required amounts 5.1 us quarts equivalent to 4.8 liters guys let's get this straight so some of the essential tools that you're gonna need for this project are gonna be your key, essentially, you're gonna need your key to get in and out of your vehicle. Mind you that you do need to take your vehicle out for a quick cruise around the block just to warm up your engine oil so it flows a little bit better. Get yourself a nice light ratchet. In my case, I got a half inch ratchet with a 17 millimeter socket. Uh, Blackstone Laboratories uh, oil check, we'll talk about that later on in the video. The correct oil filter, I'm using Mobile One extended performance the code for this is the m1-110 get yourself some rags you're gonna need a lot of rags because uh this is a messy job after all latex gloves and some eye protection and for the oil we are going with the pennzoil platinum 100 percent full synthetic made from base natural gas so the the, the base oil in this engine oil is derived from natural gas that is the base oil and that's why i love it so much all right so here we go if you come down to canadian tire you can actually get this oil um pens oil fully synthetic your zero w20 for 30 bucks on sale save 26 bucks here today what a great deal regular 56 bucks look at that What other oil do we have here? Just a bunch here, 520, also 30 bucks on sale. Great deals here today. So you always wanna look at the back of the cart, or the back of the jug, or on the bottom. In this case, it's right in the back. And it'll tell you there, the date it was made or manufactured. November 19th, sorry, November 25th, 2019. So this oil is fairly new, only four months old. So other tools that you might or not or might not have in your arsenal are going to be a jack, a hydraulic jack. This one is a three-ton jack. You don't necessarily need a three-ton jack. Uh, you can you can get by with using a smaller one. This one's a piece of junk, but I've used it in prior, and it does lift the the, the cross track. Trust me, I've tried it. I think I found it in a junkyard somewhere, maybe maybe even in the garbage. But it is made in China, you know. And it is a rated for 4,000 pounds. Works well, but we will not be using this one today. Uh, jack stands. If you are using any of these hydraulic jacks, I suggest you pick up a set of jack stands if you don't already have one. Uh, if you're not going with this option, a hydraulic jack, jacking up the vehicle, you can use uh, a set of ramps like these. These are actually made from Pro Ramp. They're full of snow because I have to dig them up from the snow because it snows every five minutes in Canada. Uh, but these will work well. Uh, if you don't have any of these tools, uh, you might be okay to get by without them just by reaching under, but you will be um, significantly limited in reach because this car only has about 10 inches of clearance from the ground. Other things you're going to need for this oil change is going to be an oil pan so you can drain out your oil. 
you have something to drain your oil out into and a couple of funnels and you're gonna need some funnels to get that oil back in and um, maybe an extra funnel to get uh, some of that oil back into a used container or a, or a jug that you will uh, uh, responsibly discard of don't just put it in your garbage take it to your local uh, hardware store or uh, Canadian Tire or uh, whoever recycles used engine oil guys be responsible with this so other than the drain plug that you have to access from beneath the vehicle everything else is reachable from the engine bay you got your engine fill cap right here right next to it is your engine oil filter and right over here is your dipstick so you'll be fine um, with that pretty simple oil change one of the few vehicles that actually come with the oil filter on the top of the engine is a great great benefit this one was changed August 17th of 2019 today is February 15th 2020 so about six months so if you are using the jack to jack up your vehicle make sure to always position your jack right along this rail here it's a metal rail and it's purposely built to jack up your vehicle without damaging the undercarriage if you're jacking up your vehicle before you do anything make sure that you pull your handbrake and chuck the wheels guys that is very important so your car doesn't slide into your garage door or down the driveway yeah, jack up this side first make sure you leave enough room to fit your jack stand I'm gonna set up these jack stands on top of a 2x4 or a 2x8 or whatever you have lying around that's a piece of lumber just so it gives you a little bit extra height and a little bit extra of, uh, protection for your concrete floor when you're letting this down relieve the pressure slowly so it doesn't slam down on your jack and destroy everything so you're gonna want to really slow all right so I'm actually not going to jack up the other side because this setup gives me just enough room to reach that oil plug all right so what I like to do is to actually lay down some old vinyl that you might have lying around so uh, whatever oil might spill spills on the vinyl not on your concrete floor and another thing I like to mention put this away after you're done using it all right, so the best way for you guys to find the drain plug is to approach the vehicle from the driver's side and uh, make your way underneath and locate this bolt right here. This is your drain bolt for your oil. So you're going to want to unscrew that and let the oil drain out. So once you got that set up with your oil pan in position here, you're going to want to grab your wrench and untighten that bolt you shouldn't be on too tight but it always takes a little bit of persuasion for that first crack look here we go all right once you got loose and like that put your wrench to the side position your oil pan in the correct location and Unscrew the rest of it by hand. And there we go. Put this bolt back. Not back, but put this bolt to the side somewhere where you're not going to lose it. I'm just going to put it right on here on top of this rag that I have on the side. Let that drain out. If you want, um, what I'm going to do here is actually uh, let the vehicle down off the off the jack, uh, so gravity will uh, assist in the drainage of the oil because it is uh, jacked up on one side only. So uh, it'll help it'll help drain it out. And as you can see, it is still draining the excess oil. What I like to do now is. Um, if you have any leftover oil from uh, your previous oil change, um, what I like to do is actually um, grab some of that oil and uh, put some of that oil into the engine and let that uh, newer oil actually uh, drain through and um, drain back 
drain through the engine and back into this pan while the the oil bolt the oil plug is still removed all right so what i like to do now is just uh remove this plug here and um you always want to make sure these filters are clean don't uh don't let any debris uh stand in there clean them out blow them out and uh, make sure they are definitely clean because you don't want to put anything in there besides engine oil so we're just gonna put so we're just gonna put some leftover oil that we had here from previous oil changes and you will see that and you will see that it will actually um, drain out through there And what this essentially does is um, remove any of that old oil that might have gotten stuck in any nook or cranny and it just pushes out any of that remaining oil. You don't necessarily have to do this, this is just a personal preference. Alright, so if you remember um, from that PDF that I showed you in the beginning of the video, we only need... Um, 5.1 US quarts or um, 4.8 uh, liters. This jug actually comes with um, five liters here. So we want 4.8. So what you're gonna do is um, you're gonna divide half a liter here. So this comes marked five liters. It comes uh, labeled on the side here, the, the quantity. So what you wanna do is um, Mark the side of your bottle. This is a five liter jug and we need 4.8. So if you come down here and divide the five in half, which is 2.5, just make a mark here and that's your rough estimate of the 4.8 because uh, we only need to deduct um, 2.5. All right, so you're gonna wanna check your vehicle back up at this point. Get your bolt back on, and you don't need to torque this down. Just snug it up. Not too tight, not too loose. Just snug it up nice. Take your oil pan out. Lower your vehicle back down, because we are done with the bottom. All right, so now from the top of the vehicle in the engine bay, you're gonna wanna remove your oil cap. If not yet removed, mine's already removed. Um, you're gonna wanna Unscrew your oil filter. These come off fairly easy by hand. You shouldn't have to use a uh, oil wrench. I do have one though. Forgot to mention it in the uh, in the uh, tools requirements, but usually I never ever used one. So put this in your oil pan. Uh, to the side of the oil pan, you'll have a uh, little um, a little zone, a little area for your oil filter to drain through. You're gonna want to grab your new oil filter, open it up like this or like that, whatever. Oh, look at this. This one's black. All right. What I like to do now, what I like to do now is put a little bit of that new engine oil right around this ring here. Let's do that. All right, let's put it right here. Just grab your new engine oil, just dip your finger in the oil like that. And um, just put a small film around the, the brim or the gasket here. Um, in underbody, in underbody uh, oil filters, I usually um, fill this halfway. I usually put a little bit of oil in here, but since this is a, on top of the vehicle, I am not going to put any. I'm just going to directly insert that in there. And you're gonna wanna hand tighten that to uh, 
and use your best judgment here guys uh, just uh, don't tighten it overly tight just enough and now let's add our oil so grab your funnel insert your funnel and we're gonna add to the black mark that we made earlier slowly pour it in always checking make sure you don't surpass that mark I know it's not much but it does make a difference you want to fill this to the correct amount so for extra insurance I always like to check the dipstick level so we're gonna check the dipstick level here pull it out and clean it out once put it back in and recheck it you want this to be between that hash mark and this hash mark in this case it's just a little pinhole so in between these pinholes and we are right about so that is pretty much dead on I'm gonna check this one more time remember that the oil filter does not have any oil whatsoever in it right now so I'm gonna run the vehicle for for two or three minutes and we'll come back and check the dipstick once again okay guys so once again uh, I want to remind you make sure there's nothing in the engine bay make sure your oil cap is tight your filter is tight and it's on and your dipstick is also in all the way make sure there's nothing in the way nothing in the way of the serpentine belt no rags no wrenches no nothing and start the vehicle All right, so at this point, you are pretty much done with your oil change. Uh, I just want to let you guys know one more time, I cannot stress enough how important this is to check all your connections, check your check your oil plug, check for leaks. Just be overall cautious because you never know if you might have forgotten to tighten something or misplace anything. All right, so we ran the vehicle for a couple minutes. Uh, we're going to check the oil one more time. Yep, we are still in the good. So as you can see there, we are still on the good pinhole mark. That's a perfect oil change, guys. So with that said and done, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, hit that like button, man. Uh, subscribe and comment if you have any ideas or questions or things that I might have forgotten to do today. Um, leave it down below in the comments. Let me know. One thing we're left to do is to discard of this used engine oil. I'm going to actually put this in a five gallon container and dispose of it later. You guys need to see that. You can also use the um, leftover jug that you used uh, to put the all the used oil in, in here and um, return it to uh, wherever you bought your oil at. With that said, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching once again, and see you on the next one.